Hey y'all, it's Glammy. I hope y'all can see me tonight. Um, I'm going to share this and find my live and make sure that it's working. Give me just a second. Let me see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, got that done. I think. Let's see. Oh, I click that. How did it pop back up again? We don't know. Okay. As soon as this quits popping up on my screen, asking me to share to groups, <laughs> I will share it, and hopefully y'all can see me. I can, you can hear me, and everything's working. Let me know. Hey, Liz, how are you doing, girl? I can see you. Yay! <laughs> okay, let me uh, see here. What am I doing? Can y'all see my hand good from this view? Um, except I'm left-handed and I keep having to pick it up to type on my computer because don't ask me why I'm not using the right hand when it's right there. Hey, Amy, welcome. So, do you think y'all will be able to see um, me dip my nails from here, or do I need to? I'm trying to figure out how to get it to where y'all can see better. I think it's that way I need to go. Now, will this be above the chat where once I move my phone and I put the dips and stuff here? Will y'all be able to see that good? Y'all let me know. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I've got all this... Of course, today, of all days, y'all, check this out. My nail that I slammed and it busted and cracked all the way through my dip and into the base of my nail. Was that last week that I had to um, repair up a little bit um, to get it to where it would hang on long enough to give my nail bed time to heal. Decided to turn loose this morning, first thing this morning. Um, and so I've been... This evening, I just had to hold it in place because um, I couldn't mess with it till this evening, and I just had to put a band aid on it to hold it. And that's took me forever to get that off without it hurting because I didn't want to damage my nail bed. So, let's see, what do I need to do here? I guess y'all are tired of looking at my phone screen, ain't you? <laughs> tell me how everybody's doing today. Tell me, tell me, how's everybody's Friday been? Good, I hope. Let me bring up the chat on my phone where I can follow along if my chat freezes here. Okay, I think I got that. Let's see. Um, where is my page? We're making progress, guys. But I've got, I took all my nails off except for I left three on to show y'all how to take them off. Then I figured I'd re-dip them, and I need y'all to help me figure out what in the world I'm going to put on there. Because i got so many colors, and I've got a live tomorrow. And I don't know what I'm going to use, so y'all got to help me. Help me pick a color, please. I'll show you my boards and the ones I've got out of those. Now, let me set my phone there. Okay, let's see. All right. There we go. Okay, um, dang it, I meant to do something as soon as I sat my phone down and I forgot what it was. <laughs> I'm so, I'm brain dead, y'all. Which way do I need to go get my hand in there? Right there looks pretty good. Um, oh, I was going to show you my nail boards. Now, I'm going to make a database of these, but I'm still in the middle of, um, typing everything in by hand. If I can get this off of this little shelf behind me. Without jingling that bell to where my dogs go crazy. So for today, the way I've got these, I hope you can see them. I guess I'll have to do them this way and maybe y'all have to swap the chat. I may need to go see if I can go way on up here to be able to see it. And we'll go back down on my nails. But tell me what y'all are thinking. Now, the way I've done these for now so y'all know what was going on, sort of, is um, until I can get... I'm going to take and put something in the middle here with a crock-up machine or however you pronounce it. 
Um, but for now, I took a little washable marker because I didn't want to put permanent marks on my boards and make little dots on there. But all these, um, let's see, all these orange ones, that, all these that have the orange dots above the, the, the nail, I have. So I've got all these colors. And my tape's not sticking. I'm never buying, I'm telling you, I, I buy Dollar Tree stuff, but I'm never buying scotch tape from Dollar Tree again. Look, that ain't even sticking at all. Um, but if y'all give me a hint on a color, um, I can go to that board and we can sort of figure out what we're doing. Um, but I've got all, I've got this, I've got, let's see, I've got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, um, this one. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and the purple means I've got gel, but we're doing dip today, so, and I got that one. I don't have as many of these, I've just got this one, and this one, this one, I hope I'm still on the camera here, um, this one, this one, that's all the ones in dip I got on this one. Got lots of purples, pinks, and uh, glitteries, of course, because y'all know uh, there's nothing, no such thing as too glittery. I've got this one for t now, today. I've got this one, this one. Um, my little tape's coming off. I got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. But if you'll give me an idea on a color, sort of, or if you want to go on the head candy page and tell me a color, because I've got quite a few as you can see I've got about all the glittery ones my little tapes came off so I'm gonna have to do that board again but let's start taking these off and give me a hint I'm doing pretty good Kristen how are you doing girl so I'm gonna take my nail drill and y'all get to see how I do because y'all y'all know I always put clear on the very base of my nails because my nails are not strong enough. They just, I mean, like, look how thin this is, y'all. If I can get it where y'all can see. I mean, that's the, that's the under, bed, under nail bed there. And actually, I was, I was pretty impressed. None of it bled, so it took me a long time to do it, to get it loose. But I did not want to go with my birdie finger bare tomorrow on my live. So I just babied it. No, I'm sorry, Tara. Those are just for the candy girls. And and let me know if I need to move. Do y'all want me to hold my hand up taller here? Hold on, let me. Because I, I either need to do it here where I can see better. Let me get this angle for when I'm drilling. Let's see. Um, will y'all be able to see um, if is, there, is, that, that, is the chat going to be in the way of that? And of course my chat's froze. Hey Haley. Um but let me know if y'all can see this above the chat and I'll go ahead and start drilling and taking this down. And like I say, don't worry. That's the sound of this bit. It's not hurting, it's not hot. And you may find me move real fast, like if I get towards the edge or towards my skin. It didn't hurt if I do that. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't make it hurt, if you know what I mean. And I hope I'm staying in the view. And see, y'all will be able to see once I take this down some, what I was talking about, about you can do the stamping and you can change it. Because you can go down to the stamping to your back to your... Um, to your back to your dip base and re-stamp it or put more um, like how I did the uh, polka dots you'll see when I take this one off once you get down to them they'll just like fly off okay great great yeah and she uh, I don't um, Kayla I don't even think expected that the candy girls would want, want them as much as we did and she really doesn't have enough for us. And the thing is, she said those can only be made when the colors are manufactured at the factory. 
um, the actual nail swatches so they won't be in development again any of the colors that are already out have already went through development but they do sell those um, little sticks like these that I have um, that I got on Amazon um, that I painted and decorated before I found out where we were going to get nail boards. That's sort of one of the reasons I got all the colors that I got was because I intended on making swatches. But you can get these and you can do those and um, like how I did. Um, let me see. Where's some of mine at? They may be up here. Hang on, y'all. I'll show you. You can make those just easy peasy um, of the colors you've got in stock. But, I, but you're probably wanting them to see the colors in person, right? So I'm probably telling you something that doesn't apply after I thought about it. You're wanting to see colors that you don't already own, I imagine. <laughs> but that's why I get so many and I'm so excited that Dalton got me this software where y'all can see really up close and what I'm doing. But see, these are boards that these are little tips that I made and then I just wrote the names on there. It'll probably be I don't know if it'll be backwards or not since this is not a cell phone. Let's see. Let's see if I can see the right. No, the right. Yeah, the writing's backwards on this. This is Castle. Um, if I can, um, but you can make these easy peasy. Um, and if you're ever curious about anything, I'll be happy to show you any of these. And I'll make. I can take you a picture of these boards and send them to you if you'd like. Just send me a message and remind me, cause y'all know how I forget stuff. I'm sorry I didn't get to do all three of my lives today that I had wanted to. Actually, it was my fault this time, y'all. After, I guess, I don't know if it was from getting the good news um, from the doctor yesterday, but when I finally slept, a lot of people know that I've not been sleeping. See now how I move real fast? That's not because that hurt. That's just um, to make sure that I don't uh, get my finger caught. You always want to move fast and move away. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, I say. But um, I laid back down this morning. And I, uh, and I didn't wake up and roll over. And probably wouldn't have then. Except my husband called after 1 o'clock today, y'all. And what I do with this drill is, y'all know I always do like, I've, I've already put clear on this, and these two have clear on them. Um, I go down to where I don't see color anymore, and then I add clear back because you're going to have regrowth that needs it. And I stop whenever I see there's no color, when it starts getting close to being no color, and a lot of times I'll even hand file when it gets close. Because my nails are so thin, I want a base of clear on mine at all times. Let me make sure I forgot to staring at the drill. I have to get those... Yeah, uh, well, what I was going to tell you is Kayla has them on the Head Candy page. Um, on, on, well, my site's got them. Um, under the, I think it's under the accessories or the mess tabs or basics, maybe, or the extras. Um, and they're only $8 for a pack of, like, 50 I think. And that, and you can't get a, that, that price is as good, if not better, than Amazon's. And if you notice, um, you always want to, if, you're, if you ever decide you want to do a, a, a drill like me, and you haven't before, you want to, some people do it like this, but I do it like this. You always want to steady your hand. And it takes me a really long time to do this, because I do, I do it in slow little spurts, because I don't want to burn my nail bed, and I don't want to 
you know, slow and steady. And this stuff is flying down my shirt and everything else. <laughs> Which I, <laughs> oh, well, it's actually my gown, but I got my gown and Jeremy pants on. Seems like it takes forever to get the color off. Of the dips, it, well, I don't know how Kayla does it. She's just better because, you know, at this. She can take both of her hands off in 10 minutes. But, and like I say, I put a lot more on mine. And I do mine in short little spurts because my nails are so weak. And see, let me show you, this drill is on a very low temperature. I could crank her way up, but I'm not going to do that because I'd rather be slow and steady. I planned on only having like one nail left to show y'all, but I was afraid if I didn't hurry up and start my live that everybody would be wanting to lynch me for sending out an alert any later than, than when I did. So I could just, if y'all want to, since it's late and it's taking forever, um, I can just take this one off and I can dip these and fix these last two um, off the live, as far as that goes. Whatever y'all would like. I can move along and dip my other ones. But see how now I'm starting to see this, so I'm going to stop there and just work on the other areas. And this nail, Haley, this is the one that i done the art on it. So it's got like six layers on it. Because first of all, I did them in the, um, I did it in the teal. Then I decided to add these stripes. So that was a few more layers. Then I decided to do the art on top of the, the, the swirls and add the, the designs. So, but like I say, you could hold this a lot longer in one spot, like, but I'm just over cautious and I don't like doing that or I could take it off faster but if it's too slow for me to do it though at at the speed I'm I'm comfortable doing it we can go ahead and dip these other ones um, and just not I just don't have to do these two for y'all whatever y'all like And see, like, I don't never put, like, the whole bit on my finger at one time. I just do little bitty things because I'm just a nervous type person. And if it can happen, it'll happen to me. Y'all have seen all the crazy, kooky things that have happened to me, so I try to be extra careful. <laughs> Hold on, let me see what you say. Yeah, okay, it's spinning the right way for me to do the edge. These drills are reversible. For whichever, if you're wanting it to spin towards the edge this way or towards the edge this way, and I had to check. See how like I jump back? That's not because that hurt or anything. I'm just trying to be extra careful. Now, see, I'm down to here now to where I can barely see. Hang on, y'all. I gotta stand up and get all this acrylic dust out of my gown and down my pajama pants <laughs> that is the bad part about the drill is it gets everywhere but I like I say I don't want to soak my nails off to where I'm down to my natural nail because my nails so thin I mean look y'all I still have dip and a tip on here and look how thin that is like this right here still has a tip on it and look how thin that is y'all you see if I can get it to where y'all can actually see the thickness of it See how baby thin that is? Let me see. Now let me get some fire up.
But yeah, I do this because it's better for, for me, for my nails, to do it this way. Because I'm left-handed. Hey, Bobby. Or, I always say Bobby first. Hey, Jeanette. Wait a minute. Let me see if I missed something. The beauty candy. It seems like it takes... Okay, I saw that, Kaylee. Um, seems like the beauty candy is making my nails stronger. They used to be in so easy, and now they don't. They still break, but a lot stronger. My nails and hair was a lot stronger until my um, thyroid went uh, haywire here lately. And I actually even contemplated um, going ahead and cutting my nails back down to like short, not as short as this, but to the free edge. Um, since my nails uh, were thin from my thyroid being so off these last few months. But I don't know if I will or not. I may just go ahead and cut mine down and start growing them out now that the doctor says that I don't even have to have my thyroid tested for six months. And see, like, once I get down here, I don't even worry about it being completely smooth. Because I'm just going to add clear back to it, you know. I get it down low as, low as I want it to wear and then I can fill in the rest of it when I do the layer because I'm getting ready to add another layer of clear anyway so why not take it all the way off when I'm just going to add it back on and see you're getting to the part like look how look how soft and I don't like uh, messing with my nails when they're when they're this long and as thin as they are because they're going to break hey Denise how are you doing girl my friend Denise is on here. I just saw her come in. We're doing nails tonight, Denise. How's your family doing? All right. My tip just flew off, y'all. Oh, well. Look, I think I'll just leave it at the length it is. That'll be a little shorter than I had wanted. And it's going to be rounded. You know, because you have to do your nails in a rounded form to get them to fit into the tip groove thingy. Let me pull that little bit of tip off, see if I can do it without tearing my own nail. I better cut that. Where is my scissors? I'll use these cuticle things here. But I like square, as y'all know. But to get your nail to fit into the groove of a of the tip, it has to be rounded. Well, there we go. But they're getting stronger. They're just it'll take a while. No, that's not what I'm looking. For. Yeah, it is what I'm looking for. I don't know. That's what I was asking y'all. Haley, did you not get my text message? I need help, girlfriend. I don't know what color I'm going to do. What do you? What do y'all think? Now, that's actually down to my nail, and that's pretty good. And see how that's just popping off? Whatever comes off, I'll let come off, because I'm going to add it right back anyway. But look at that, y'all. That's my natural nail. And y'all can go back and watch any of my lives. They're not thin from over filing because I always add clear before I do any filing as a protection. That's just my genetics. There, that's slow enough. We're going to stop there on that one. Now, do y'all want me to go ahead and do these other two nails? I'll start on this one because it ain't going to take near as long on these. These ain't near as thick as those others to take off. But if y'all want me to move on and go ahead and start dipping, I will. But this ain't going to take no time on these. And see how, like, if like if you do like I was showing y'all last night, to where you take the either the number two or the nail glue or the Loctite or whatever and do you some little dots and sprinkle your gel 
or lines, dots, whatever, you know, that you want to put a design and then put the dip in it to let it make a color. You just go right down and that'll come right down to that level and you can uh, either smooth it back out and go back to a solid color, smooth it back out and put your top coat back on it. Or you can change the design or you could stamp on it then, whatever you want to do. Oh, am I, yeah, I am in camera, I think. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where I need to be. Um, wait a minute. Somehow, when I got up and shook the gel, when I sat back down, now my hand ate in place. I think. Right there will be good if I can get it. If I can get that, okay, I think, let me know if that's good, y'all. I don't, I didn't even think about when I stood up. Hey, Shelly, hello, girlfriend. But y'all tell me, is this above the chat for y'all? And can you see it good? Shelly makes some beautiful jewelry. I've watched uh, on her page. If you, uh, I have to ask Shelly. I'm not sure what what the gemstone or if it's polished uh, gems or what it is, but she wraps them almost like a like a pendant type deal. But you ought to check her page out. Okay, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit for that now. I'm off camera again, y'all. I'm going to have to have a shocker thing that shocks me when I'm off camera. Like a cattle prod. <laughs> but once I get in the office, I'll be high enough to where it's not right on top of my nails so much. To where I can move a tiny little bit and it won't throw it off camera so bad. But we're just about ready to start dipping this. Alright, now I'm going to do this one. I didn't hear y'all. Uh, it shot right in my mouth, y'all. <laughs> Purple glitter and gold glitter. I love the cute nail kit. Head candy, the case. Oh yeah, I've got that here somewhere, Haley. I just don't know where it is. See the small amount of space I was telling y'all? I have this much. Um, I can't even zoom out enough to show you how small. Hang on. I'm trying to see how small of a counter space I have. I mean, right here is where my computer and the shelf ends. And I've got that much room that I can use at one time. Um, but once we get in the office, I won't have all these issues. Now, let me find my hand again. <laughs> well, that's good, Haley. You see how that's coming right off back down to the tip? I'm going to keep aggravating you till you get on this nail kick with me to where we have this stuff we can do together. Ain't it fun to do this stuff with your friends and hang out? I 
If I could figure out an angle where y'all could see that I could straighten my wrist out, that would help me a lot. But you like the, you like this one. This is uh, I believe this one was. I can't remember if this was mesmerizing or which one it was right now, Haley. We're in the home stretch now. It don't take me no time to do the dipping. And if I wasn't just a real, you know, if I was cautious about it <laughs> um, and brave, I'd just drill at it like crazy and be done. Where's my little button to reverse it? And there it is. And see if you if you hear that clicking and what I'm doing is I'm changing the direction of the drill to where it's going towards the edge. Because you don't ever want it going to where it's like going against the edge of your nail. Or it would rip it. You want to go with the edge. See, I told you these nails wouldn't take as long as that one. That one had like six layers on it, I think. Towards the end, when I'm getting ready to change, that's when I start playing and adding art to them because I know I'm taking them off anyway. Alright, that's close enough to where we hand file them and we're in the home stretch, y'all. Now, I've got to stand back up and shake this acrylic dust off of me one more time. And where is the duster? Let me go ahead and get all this dust. But like I say, I like leaving that clear layer on there as like a strengthener for my nails. Plus, I've had sinus surgery, and I don't know if it's that or what, but the acetone fumes bothers me sometimes on soaking them off, so I'd rather do it <coughs> anytime I can drill them off, I'm all good. Is my chat froze, or are y'all just quiet? Tell me, tell me. I cannot believe I slept so long today. But I hadn't been sleeping more than two hours a day a, in a 24 hour period in weeks. That tip broke. I'm going to cut that tip down and just add another one back, y'all. No, I know what I'll do. I'll just cut this little, little part right here. Down to where it's like more of my nail length. And just leave it natural with an overlay. My OCD drives me nuts, though, when it's different lengths. But, hey, it'll get me there. How do you know which one are gel and which ones are dip? You mean on my board? Do you mean on my board, uh, Kristen? Or do you mean the product? What do you mean?
all the colors if if i i'll just start answering the question and i'll get i'll get to it i'll hopefully i'll answer it uh here in a second if you're asking how do we know on these boards when we see a color and a a, a sample which one it comes in is that what you're asking Let me know if that's the right answer. Or if you're asking how I done the little washable markers on my little inventory and system uh, as I'm going through trying to get a running tally of what I've got so I can have my son teach me how to put it in the computer as a database thing to where I can know what I got. My system, I've got a purple dot because purple is grape so and that starts with a G like gel so that's how I had to remember it is a purple washable dot that I put on there it means I've got the gel and orange is like a Dorito and that starts with the same thing as a dip so that's what the orange dots mean but if you're asking on the head candy system all of the colors come in both if you see one you can get it in either option. Just depends on whether you need dips or gels. I wouldn't see what I, I'll show you the blue board. I'll show you one that I got in last night that I'm dying to try. Cause y'all know I'll do three or four different colors. That's just me. Let me show a variety. And see, I get to where I can still see there's a little bit of dip. I, I guess I'll back that off camera. Now, see, I can see that there's still dip here, but there's not none right here. And that's good with me. I'll add it, and it'll add some where there's not any, and it won't be too thick where there already is some. So let's give them all a little buff over. We'll add tips to, do y'all think I should add a tip to that one or just leave it my natural length? I've got to add a tip to this one for sure. Now I've got to adjust the camera now that I'm not drilling to where I can set my hand down some. When I'm drilling, I have to get that camera up in my eyesight range where I can see better. <laughs> I meant to take a picture of my boards with the dots on it and post it so y'all could see all the different colors that I've got on a picture, but I forgot. And I didn't know that my tape came off overnight. But I told y'all I have a bunch, and I have a bunch. Okay. Now, where's my little... Need to get me two of these little new files. I've used this one for the last week or so. So let me stand up right here just a second and grab a new one. What are you doing, babe? Checking the fire? No. Oh, oh good, because I'm burning up. And see what I was talking about, about uh, making little, little gift things. I've got so many things I've been buying to add to make little goodies. I've got like all these little orange files. These are the cutest little things. I don't know if y'all seen them yet. Look at this cute little bag I got on Amazon. It's got a, it's like a six way buffer. It's got four, it's a, well, it's a four way file. And then the, the last two have buffers on to sh give it the shine on the top end. And I got this whole little thing. Like, see how that one is? It's got purple and white. And these are so neat. When you're done, I'll show you. 
because you can go in and be like smoothing the edge here and adding a buff at the same time. <laughs> I got that I think for like eight dollars I think for all that whole little bag of those and I figured those would be neat to drop in your purse in a little uh, cosmetic bag without some of these other little ones. And I've got boxes of these that I can make and I've got all my dips and stuff that I'm going to be making my samples of that I was telling you all about. I'm all about a thing that's more than one use, you know. And I've got tons of these bigger ones, but I like these little ones when I'm down to finishing like right in here because you're not having a whole big old thing to where you're having to, that it's swiping your skin, you know. What y'all decide on this one? Should I add a tip to that or, or leave it short? It wouldn't take me but a second to add a tip to it to make it... I mean, I could add a tip to that one and that one. Both of them, it wouldn't take me but a second. Y'all tell me because I'm going to be doing my nails anyway. But it's up to y'all whether you want to see it or not. There's that. And see these nails, this one, this one, um, these two, this one, and this one's already ready to do dips on. They've done got the clear added to them too. I was trying to do a little bit ahead. Because I know that I work slow. That's one reason I couldn't do nails in the salon years ago. Because I'm so super slow at it. And I had too many hair customers. Um, and I just didn't have enough time because I could sit and file on nails and sit there in my OCD takeover and file for days and days to like if, if I had the time to and I would end up spending so long so now and look at these cute little things I got y'all for when your dips start getting lower and you need to tip them over you know now, top coat, prep, base. I got to get them in order or I'll end up dipping in the wrong order. And Haley said she liked navy. And I know I'm going to try pink. And of course, we got to have some glitters. We may try an orangey color. Let's see, but I gotta get my tips out to, to size out on one finger. Oh, and here's that little kit that you were just talking about, Haley. There's actually the pharmacy one and the head candy one. Because sometimes it gets a little muddy in my fields of the two different companies. And my little box was broke when I got it, but I didn't want to make them have to send me a whole box just because it was broke. So, I just taped it back on. And this was one I was playing with and I done an a easy peel base on it. Okay, let's see here. I think I will add one to my fingers. They probably won't stay on long because I'm not going to shorten my real nail down, but oh well. Because see, that's why I usually take and file them and move them back like that because it gives them more to, te to do, but since it's so late, I'm not going to make y'all sit and wait on me to file those underneath out. So I'm just going to put it on where it's at. But we got to do the clear first because like I say I don't put nothing on my fingers until 
I've put the clear on it to strengthen them. All right, here comes my cupcake wrappers. Look how much of that I've used already. I've been using it like crazy. I'm going to prep anyway under the tips. Please don't burn on my little nail there. I'm so... It, when that cracked that day, it started to bleed, but luckily I glued that back and put a layer of clear on top of it to hold it together to give it time to heal before it pulled loose, or it would have been awful. Awful, awful, awful. Now, where is my nail that I already... There we go. Now, let me make sure y'all can see where I'm going to be. Um, okay. Gosh, y'all, y'all are going to hate me, but I'm going to drill that back some. I cannot put it on that far back on my nail. I mean, that far out. I know it won't stay. And I already pre-done the other one that I knew I was going to be doing on this finger. So I only got one more I got to drill right fast and move the groove and thin that groove out and smooth it where it is. And move it back a little so I can scoot the nail back. This is not a head candy thing. This is a glammy thing. This is just something I do. It works for me. If you don't smooth that out, you'd have a gap in there where air would get and it wouldn't sit straight. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. That's good to know. And y'all, on your glue, you can take like a little file like this and just do like that. Because even though I put the top on it right when I'm done, you know, it's always got little spots of glue when you put the top on it that dries. And I like to have the precision of the little cap. for it now not hitting all those little daubs of glue so I just clean the edge of the tube off and then I take and put Vaseline around it but I forgot today when I was using it earlier because Vaseline this this like the number two base and the top coats and stuff if you put like Vaseline's in the threads it won't glue shut. Like, see how there's some that's come down? But see, the Vaseline won't let it set. It stays wet. And you're not ever going to put the get the Vaseline inside down in the stick so it doesn't affect your product. My husband told me that trick. Because, like, the second day I went, and even though I've got brush shaver and I clean my threads good, like I was supposed to, um, second day I went to use my stuff it's like it was stuck and I was freaking out and he said put Vaseline and that won't do that again get up here where I can see what I'm doing surely I haven't used this whole tube of glue already hang on let me listen cover the hole up make sure so I don't sling super glue in my ear or Loctite <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like there's something in it, so let's see. If not, I have more. And they say uh, 
Some of the candy girls use the number two as glue. We could always try that, I guess, if nothing, ha if nothing else. How do the tips stay on? Do you have male glue? Yeah, th this is Loctite super glue. And then the number two base that for the dips is like a nail glue type thing, Haley. Some people use the number two glue and don't even use a nail glue. Now, let me squirt that and see if anything comes out now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just let it get clogged. Okay. Now, I've got that ready. Let me do my clear dip now that I've got everything ready. Um, let's see. What am I doing again? This finger, this finger, and this finger. So, let me see where I need to move the dip powder to so you can see what I'm doing. Can y'all see that right there if I put it right there? And I'm just going to make sure and push my cuticles back. I did it on all the others, but these last three, I didn't. So let me just make sure. Usually, though, when you've done all that filing, and I keep mine pushed back anyway. There we go. Oh, and y'all, I have a live tomorrow at 6, I think it is, on the Head Candy page, Eastern Time. And, of course, y'all know I'm going to hope and pray and wish that, um, let's see now, y'all going to be able to see there. Um, that they make it a giveaway for y'all. And then I take... And not only do I use that, but I take a little fingernail uh, toothbrush to make sure and get all the fine little dust out. Okay, now I just need to dip these last few little fingers. Oh, I just, when I got that wet, I just realized there's still glitter on it. I'll have to take that. I didn't even see there was still glitter left on it. I'll have to file that a little bit more. So we'll come back to that finger. Now the one I've been dreading and hoping it don't burn. So that would be three your time. I don't know, Haley. Let me look and see what time it is here. It is 12.57 here. So whatever many hours it is different from now, you just have to subtract it. I'm not sure. I think you're... Are you, are you Pacific time or Mountain time? Oh, I forgot to share this to the head kidney lives. Whoops. I turned the power, power button off. Hang on. Um, are you mountain or Pacific, Haley? I knew I was forgetting something. Gosh, how long have I been live? Almost an hour, and then I realized I was supposed to share my own live. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Oh, Lord, Lord. I don't think I even shared it to my own page. I don't think I did, as a matter of fact. Where is... Of course, it probably won't... They probably ain't nobody on the... Uh, from Head Candy in the on right now to approve the post anyway so they wouldn't seen it tonight anyway probably um now where's the live again 
Let me go back to it and share it to my own page. I'm not sure. I think sometimes um, I haven't checked to make sure, but I think when I go live from the computer that it shares it to my page automatically. I don't know. But let's see. I'm going to share it anyway. Well, what's wrong with my phone? Hang on, y'all. It's being a pain. This is my brand new phone. And I've got the hourglass. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Hourglass stuck again. It's three hours. Yeah. Oh, I thought Pacific time was four hours difference. That's right. Mountain time is two hours difference. Oh, that's right. Cause we're in the sun. We're in daylight savings or whatever. We're not in daylight savings right now. We're in normal time, right? See, our time zone changes certain times of the year. I cannot get this to go and load. Come on, page. Don't be a pain to your owner. Okay, here we go. Now let me share it to my own page. Okay, now, now, let me finish taking that off. I didn't notice until that got wet that there was a tad of glue left. I'm cover up my dip. Just grab this here, and let's file the rest of that off. Because it looked like it was off. But see, my nails are so thin. See how I'm in the habit of even holding my finger under there and supporting my own nail because my nails are just so thin. That's why I do the dips. That's how I always recommend it to people is it depends on whether you need the strength of the dip or if you just need gel, which is a little bit of strength, but mainly you want a longer lasting polish. If you don't need the strength of dip and you got good strong nails, well, go gels because that's just painting your fingernails. Except you have to do a lot thinner coats because it's uh, not got a drying agent built in it. And it will spread out and get on your fingers. But that's a boom, 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 paint them and you're done. And I don't know, have I even showed y'all a demo of the dip, the gels before? Because if not, sometime I'll encapsulate a color of dip. And I can even do that tonight. On top of this. To show you. I mean the gel. You can tell I'm tired, y'all. Um, show you how easy the gels are. If you don't need dips. If I didn't need the dips, I'd be a gel girl. But I do the gels on my toes. And a lot of times I do art with the dips, and a lot of times I want to change colors, and I'll throw a dip on top of the, I mean, a, I'm still saying it backwards, a gel on top of the dip, and change it that way sometimes. Okay, now, one more little spot. Oh, you have it? I'll show you one when I get, when I get to the top layer, um... I'll do a dip for you. Maybe we could add a glossy, um, like a sparkly dip color on top of one of the ones that's matte. Or something like that on, on the very top, Kristen. Because it's, it's easy peasy. Okay, now I got that off. Let's put a layer of dip on it. I would much rather be on the safe side than overfile any day. So that's my motto on it. If you got thin nails, see the dip don't take long at all, and the gel don't either. With me, if it wasn't that I was just a really cautious person about the um, filing, it wouldn't take me no time either. 
So now I can start gluing my tips on while I'm waiting on that dip to dry a little bit before I brush it off. Get my finger on top of it. Hold it down. The cat is on me right now, purring away. Ah, I bet she's glad you's home with her tonight. Are you feeling any better today at all, Haley? I think I put too much glue. Hang on. And that's another thing is I put too much glue so then I have to hold it a long time. Waiting for it to dry, but I figure if one drop's good, then five drops ought to be really good. And <laughs> that's not the way you're supposed to do it. But That's a good thing about head candy. Their stuff's so good. Even if you do it in the weird ways that I do it, it still works good. <laughs> With my sciatic nerve, I haven't been going to work. How many days did you miss? I, I saw that you didn't go yesterday and today. Sometimes you just got to listen to your body and do it that way. Oh, I gotta move up, I forgot. Okay. Maybe I'll try not to put five gallons of glue on it this time to where I have to hold it so long. Now I can't remember which nail goes where. This one. Yeah, that. This, <laughs> I was getting ready to put that on the wrong finger, y'all. <laughs> At least I caught myself. My problem is I have to stop and move it and look, or I'll end up gluing them on crooked. And you also may sing along to where, you, where uh, no, nobody in the office hears um, any sound going right now because I'm being a bad, bad glammy. Because I'm not supposed to do that, but I needed it. All right, here goes the one that's been making me nervous because I'm getting ready to do the one that broke. Well, it didn't break. I slammed it. And I'm not, by the way, I'm not squirting like over and over. I'm just spreading that out when you see me keep dabbing. Fella. And fella had to come in on the scene. Do you have to go pee, fella? Um, 
Oh, you missed. Today was your fourth day? Well, I know you don't, Haley, but, you know, you can't help it when your body needs it. You got to do what you're supposed to. Right? Oh, I forgot to get my little nail trimmers out. Hang on. Cover my dip back up. I don't want tips flying into my dip bottle. Make sure they're good. Well, that actually didn't hurt. I was afraid that was going to hurt when I had to glue that where that nail got slammed, but it didn't. Now, I glued this one on crooked, y'all. Oh, well, that's my crooked personality kicking in. We can't help it. I'm trying to cut it straight to where I file it. It won't look as crooked. See if I hadn't had that on there, that would have went right in there. Make sure it's out of the way. Forgot to get one of my little thingies out. Your work's pretty understanding about it, though. You're lucky on that, Haley. You know? Did y'all get bounced? I saw Kristen have to come back in. And I saw Haley have to come back in. Is my live messing up for y'all? Or... And if you haven't done tips before, you have to know that you have to file the slick off, the shine off. Just like you do off of your nail. You have to rough them up a little bit. And I have to watch because I start moving my hands up to where I can see them and it's out of the light. I haven't left. I'm here. Facebook. Oh, has it? I know a lot of people have been having problems with their lives and unable to see the chat. I just pray mine works right uh, tomorrow. I was so upset last week. You know, because I like to do the lives for y'all and, you know, and everything. And it makes me feel bad when I can't do what I promise. Oh, yeah, gosh almighty, who in the world would have ever thought something like that would have happened? Only me could that have happened to, right? These are going to be longer than I'm used to, but I'll shorten them down tomorrow or some other day. It's like now I worry because it's late, you know, and I start getting nervous because I hate to inconvenience people, you know. I want to do it to where it's beneficial to y'all, not a burden. Now let's see if I can't fix this one here.
and luckily when I shorten it, it won't look as crooked. Whoops, I just hit the camera. And see, so what I'm doing is just trying to make that to where it doesn't show as bad where it's crooked. Because I glued it on there crooked, y'all. But hey, once it's decorated, you know, hardly ever notice that. I will, and people that do nails will, I'm sure. But I'll redo it. Maybe even tomorrow before my live. Okay, I gotta stop smoothing that or I'm gonna file it right off my finger. That's what I say. I sit and piddle and work and work and work and I file it back off. I guess it's just me being used to such thin nails. I end up making them so thin they fall apart. That's what I've had all my life. I'll be glad when I've got more room and get moved in the office. And you're not supposed to file both ways. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, right? Alright y'all, I gotta shorten that one. That one is so long, I'll never be able to do nothing with that one. I'm gonna shorten this one just a little bit too. Thank you, Chloe. Welcome, too, by the way. Come on in. Have a seat and hang out. We're just piddling and doing my nails. They don't look so hot right now because I've got a layer of uh, clear base underneath because I have really weak nails. And I won't do anything until I've got a layer of clear on them. Because mine are so soft, they're almost like wet spaghetti noodles. That's just the way my body makes nails. And they're especially bad right now because my thyroid has been off and it affects your hair, skin, and nails. But I've never seen a line that was so good that you can... Uh, that it's so easy to do. Even if you make mistakes, you know, they'd never know. I think a lot of it has to do with how fine they um, have their powders. Because I think finer powders are more expensive. And the colors, I don't think any company has near the colors that Head Candy has. Okay, now let me set some of this stuff I'm done using up out of the way I'm gonna be able to just spin to a different area once I get in the office and like have hair at one section stay up all the time nails at another one I use coconut oil a lot um Chloe is it Chloe or Chloe I'm country. I have to watch how I say, pronounce things. Because 
because I can put a twang to just about anything because that's just me. <laughs> Alright, I think that's good enough. Now I'm going to put dip again just right here at the back of these tips to level that out a little bit. And then we're going to start putting colors. Oh, but the beauty candy has collagen in it, come to think of it. It has collagen, biotin, um... What are the other ones? Um, the glycerin, uh, the gelatins, and all that stuff that's good for your hair and your nails. Have you tried the beauty candy before? Are you familiar um, with it yet? Well, I think it's time for my little bottle. Well, I better dip that first, though, before that dries. I'll have to dip it and then do the spots for my bottles. There. Now, had to get my little slanted bottle holder because I'm getting low on that one. Oh, see, I move it right up in my face again. Believe it or not, they say I don't need glasses. It's just my eye muscles that makes me move stuff because it gets hard to focus, especially... The later it gets, I think it affects it more with being autoimmune. Now we're ready to play with some colors. Now, see if there's any spillage that goes back in there. Uh -huh. Now I'm not taking it. I take an extra biotin um, and vitamin D extra. I take all kinds of extra ones. Uh, I can't remember if it's called magnesium or calcium. Which one is, um, I, whatever it is, I don't remember. I have to look at the bottle to remember now when I'm tired. But um, potassium because it's bananas. That's what it is. Okay, let me show y'all my new color that just came, if I can find it on this board here. And like I say, don't pay no attention to my little glue that didn't stick. I mean, my tape, because I'm just going to have to have my daughter and I'll go ahead and make that cry cut machine thing ASAP. Where is that new one that I got? I've got this one, Haley. You mentioned a purple. Did you say a royal blue? Would royal blue and purple match together, y'all? Oh, really? Does, so it affect the biotin affects your heart um, in a negative way, Chloe? Yeah, and whoever wins um, when I do my next drawing. I've got like two here, um, and that could be one of y'all's um, things. I have just about everything that I have show y'all. I have it that it could be a giveaway. So let's start. I'm going to show y'all the boards, and y'all name a color, a board color, board number, and let's figure something out. This is board number one. And it's more pastels, if I can find the board. See, I don't have enough room in here to where you can't even see. And I can't move the boards anyway. I'm just going to find something. Let's see. Because I can't figure out how to make my camera go at an angle. So, name some colors, y'all. Royal blue and purple. Okay, let me see. Royal blue and purple. 
Oh my goodness. Hey, I have high cholesterol and I can't take cholesterol medicine. It affects my kidneys. So I know what you mean on that stuff. Okay, they've got, let's see, these not, not this. Let's see. Okay, here we're getting into some royal blues. Let's see. I've got all three of these purples. I've got um, this one, this one. No, wait a minute, I'm telling you wrong. I've got this one, this one, and this one. I've got this one, this one, this one. And I think the only royal blue I've got is a glittery royal blue. And I've got about every one of these on these boards. I've got that royal blue that's glittery. I've got that royal blue that's glittery. I've got that purple. These purples. The new one that I want to try is... See, my little stickers didn't stick. Where is it? I believe it's this one. That's the new one that I just got in last night. This one. I've got that one. I've got this purple. Great teeny. The purple. I don't have black, Haley. Uh, Kristen, I don't have any black because all the blacks are back ordered. All the blacks are out of stock. I have one dark. It sort of looks black, but it's not. Um, this is a dark purple. It looks almost black, but it's purple. This one here. Um, I've got one called... What's it called? What's Owl? Night Owl? But... I haven't decided if that's a dark green or what it is. I haven't decided yet. See, these are all back ordered. All the blacks. Where is that not all one? And I've got some of the calf. I've got one called uh, caffeinated, I believe is what it's called. This may be the one I'm thinking of. I've got this one. I could do that one and, a, and one of these purples. Let me tell you the colors on this board and whoever says we'll do them. This is 664, 660, 642. Y'all want me to do those three? Or do you want to throw some of these bright purples in with it? See, that's such a dark purple it almost looks black, but it's purple. This one is 686, 681, and 675. Or we can do some glittery purples and some... You couldn't see none of the colors, Haley, when I showed them? Okay, let's see then. I'm just going to do this one. I'm going to do this one. This is a new one I just got. It's a Glam Girl, I think, or Beach Babe. I can't remember. I would like to do that new one I just got in. It's called Illusion. Have y'all seen that one on the website? It's this one right here. That's a new one I just got last night. Why don't we do this one? Let me see. I can't move my board under the camera. Let's see. This one I just got. I've got this one that I just got in. I got this one I just got in. 
so let's see. And when you get into the sparkly dips, they got a drawer all to their self in my little organizer. Let's see. These are all of the sparkly ones. I can't even get them all in the camera. Let's see. Go all the way through all these and all the way this way and all the way through them. I've got probably three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five rows. I got about 35 sparkly ones. So let's find these new ones. It is color GSCO2. That's illusion if you want to look it up on the site. Um, where is it? I know it's in here because I just got it last night. That's Castle. Oh, wait. I may have got it in... Hold on. I may because it was sold out in one. I may have got it in jail. I got it in jail. That's why I'm not finding it. I'll do a top coat of that on one of these. So, let's see. DSC05. Where are you, DSC05? Probably looking right at it. One DSC05. I haven't done Matea yet. That's a blue, though. Oh, I bet I put that in the pink one. Estelle's a new one. That's a purple glitter. That's a new one. Let's do that one. Let's see. Maybe I put it... See, sometimes I put them in the sparkly and sometimes I put them in the color they are. Let me look in the pink jar. It's perfect. Let's see. Decisions, decision, y'all. Clips. Rising Coastal. Castle. Treasure. Ruby. Popper. Popper's gorgeous. Great tea. There's great tea that we were talking about. Gypsy. That's a pretty one. Can do diamond. I will do those ones. Oh man! There went the boards. See why I hate this little room? I'm just going to let them fall on the floor. Okay. I'm going to show you these. And we're not even going to mess with the boards. Because they're going to be beautiful because they're head candy colors anyway. We know diamond is the sparkliest thing on the planet. Hang on. Now I gotta readjust my camera. Back to here. Okay. 
There we go. Now, this is Diamond. We'll do her. Let me show you these others. This is Piper. Look how gorgeous, y'all. That's Piper. This one's a new one I haven't done yet. I don't think I've got it open yet. It just came. She needs to be stirred, though. Because I know she's sparklier than that. Hang on. Let me shake her up. Or roll it, not technically shake it. I had to log back into Facebook earlier. Close your eyes and pick two. Oh, that would have been a good idea. Who all got logged out of Facebook? Did y'all all get logged out? The new silver and 139. 139. Which one's 139? Oh, Gypsy? Okay. We can do that. Let me show you these. Even if I don't do it, I'll open it and have to show it to you. See, this one's more of a pastel pink, but then it's got these glimmers to it. And when you see the white, that's the acrylic dust. That will not show up when you actually do the dip. You'll only see the colors. You won't see the white powders. That's just the base product. Look at this one. This one is the Gypsy. This one's 139. Let me flip my little stirrer over. And like I say, disregard anytime somebody's showing you the powder. Uh, when you see the white, that's not going to be there. It's going to be more sparklier than that. And this one is Grape Teeny. Look at this one, y'all. Look at her. So, we know I'm doing diamond. So, we're going one. Where's the camera? Let me find. Let me get it to where I'm. Okay, there's one. Two, three, if I can find it. There we go. Three, and look at this gorgeous one. Look at her. So, one, two, three, or four. Pick two to go with it, y'all. And we'll do it. You like Gypsy and Diamonds? Let's see. This one. Okay. One more. So that's number three. So we got one, two, or four. Which one do y'all want to go with it? Or do y'all want me to just do two? Because I can do that. Oh, wait. This one's Gypsy. This one's Gypsy. This one. You like this one better? I've got to work on putting that camera back to where it's right over top of where I'm at before I start again. This one's the Gypsy one, actually. This one is Matea, I think is its name. Estelle. Estelle. That's the new one. No, I'm telling you wrong. This one's great, Teeny, I know, because I've used that one before, I think. Oh, see, y'all? I'm such a dork. I have bought two of the same color. <laughs> I've done this about four times where I've bought the same thing. That's the same one. These two are the same. Okay, so we will... No wonder they both look so similar. So we got Piper... Let's see. We'll do this one. Let's do that bright pink one. Then this sort of pale, I mean bright purple, pale purple, and silver in the third one. Y'all know I have to do three. And we'll do Grape Teeny another day because Grape Teeny is hard to do. Um, it's harder to do because it has longer... Um, when you see one that has longer, um, like see how this has longer sequins in it? This you have to um, work with a lot, lot more 
to get it to lay down flat um, or you'll file or you'll file the color off of it you know what I'm saying because it's glitter on the inside and if you don't get it laying down flat and you have to file on it a lot you're going to file the color back out so you have to work with that one and I'll be happy to show y'all that but since it's late and I feel bad being on so late with y'all keeping y'all up half the night We'll do great teeny on a day when it's not so late. So. Do, 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 do. Now we can actually make some time up because it don't take me no time to dip them. And I may even just dip one hand for y'all to where it don't take y'all all night because I know y'all just don't have the heart to turn my live off on me or y'all would probably be asleep by now so we're gonna do let me think a minute thumb pinky Which one y'all want me to do where? I figured I'd do my, my thumb and my pinky in this one. Which one y'all want me to do diamonds on? Which finger? I'm going to go ahead and be dipping my thumb and my pinky while y'all tell me about my other three fingers of which colors I should dip where. Which one should I do the diamond that's sparkly? Oh, and i got to move in front of the camera again. And when you do the glitters, I found that it's better to push them down. That's part of pushing the glitters down to where you don't have to file on them. Now let me get my camera adjusted to where I can tell where I'm going to be again. Oops. I'm trying to get it to where it's comfortable for me to use it. I think that's what I need to do. There we go. Now we're making progress. Yeah, now we're making progress. Okay. Oh, did you see what I just did? <laughs> I just about stuck the base in the dip where I'm tired. Middle finger diamond and pink. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, so you can go in there and make, and you don't have to worry. You can do it fast enough, and then you catch what falls off, and you can put it back in because there's nothing wrong with it. Let's see. I love the Grape Teeny, too, but I'm tired, and it's late, Haley, because it is uh, 15 to 2 in the morning here. Do diamond on the fourth finger. Uh... Which one do you mean by fourth? Are you going one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four? Say it by pinky, ring finger, birdie finger, pointer finger. That's the way I know. <laughs> I'm old and stuck in my ways. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, pinky finger while y'all let me know what you want to do. And the middle finger diamond and the pink on do diamond on the fourth finger. I'm gonna do diamond on the bit the ring finger, okay. Ring finger and the middle finger. Somebody uh, okay. Uh la 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 I got one for ring finger and one for middle finger. Okay, I'm def I'll do it on the middle finger. I guess since that one was first. Now I'll move her over. 
dip that one in there and see how you push like the bigger sequin like things down okay so we'll do the light purple on the other two fingers That sounds like a plan to me. What do y'all think? I clean the edge and move that around. I had to swivel her around in my little thing. Okay. Now we're going to do the light pink on my ring finger and my pointer finger. That's the extra over here. And I always try to check and make sure that I don't have any like over on my cuticles real bad that I need to take off before I do a second layer and I don't so we'll move on. You did get a choice didn't you say the ring finger? I thought I was picking something everybody had picked. Now Haley's didn't get hers, huh? Well, we'll have to let you pick another night, Haley. I'm sorry, girlfriend. I thought I was doing what everybody had asked. Look at that, y'all. Look how gorgeous. And you really don't see until you actually activate it and, and the, the powder gets wet. Yeah, I did. Isn't that what you said? Hold on. I am going to take... Let me show you. See this little sequin right here that's sort of on the edge? You can either trim it or file it off. It's late and I'm tired, so I filed it off so that I don't have that touching my finger. Oh, and I guess I need to move over here where y'all can see. I didn't want to do it over the thing. Anytime I see where it gets on my finger, I go ahead and barely knock it off before it has time to dry. And then you have all this filing to do. And normally I don't get the stuff on my finger, but it's late, I guess, and I'm tired maybe. Yeah, I, I've done that before, the diamond on my, my middle finger. I think it was the first dip I ever did. And if you notice, you get the, um, the base over on your finger. You can take like how I just did my fingernail and clean the edge before you dip it.
but these are gorgeous and if you use my link don't forget to send me a screenshot because everybody that uses my link gets one entry into my monthly giveaway but if you send me the screenshot in the first 24 hours that tells me you didn't just come upon my live on head candy you've actually been to my page where I can talk about my giveaway and you're one of my people so that means that tells me that you're one of my peoples and it gives you double entries for every time you use my link and you can pick up to a twenty dollars worth of the product whichever one you want which is just everything except the bags um, and the kits and that kind of thing we don't have a single product I don't think that's over eighteen dollars so that basically covers every full size product or you could do a travel size uh, sample set and of course I send it to you if you're in the United States and Haley won one time and she um, you know you can pay the extra fees that if you're not in the United States you're used to paying anyway so you're still getting your part that I was going to do I just can't afford to to, to send it to another country and that's not head candy that's just something I do to say thank you for y'all and I don't do a whole lot of filing on the glitters on the top because you're going to encase it with clear anyway because if you can encase it with clear, you don't have to file on it and lose your pigment. Do y'all like two, or do you want me to do a third dip? Let me know. I keep moving back here to file any, because I don't want to file over top of that and anything fall down. Y'all want me to do a third layer to where it'll be more intense, or do you want me to go ahead and do a clear on it? Because we can always add another layer on top later. If you want to see what two layers look like, we'll do two layers. And I'm just barely hitting it enough to get the really bad. Like when some of the glitters that are more like um, stalks like, when they stand up, go ahead and knock them off. And I really don't try to file on them. I more like try to knock them, knock what's sticking up off on them that way. Oh, great, Kristen. I just love y'all. Haley, you've been one of my people for a long time, girl. Do a third layer? Okay. Sounds good to me. I think it'll look a lot better. I just, I just don't want to keep y'all awake half the night okay and I, and I and when I go over like this I'm dusting but I can't dust over top of the um, open containers and you can tell what the color is going to look more like when I put the base on it um, see how that's bringing that color out because until it gets wet, um, you're still seeing the acrylic in a dry state. That's why it looks so different. And remember, push it down. And if you feel anything on your finger, go ahead and move it off of there. If you can. And when I wet this, I want to show y'all. See the two differences? This one's um, going to be dry in a second. Because it's got the acrylic in it. So I want to show y'all the difference of what it looks like wet to dry. Look at the difference, y'all.
I don't know what that is on TV in there, but I hear Stone Cold Steve on there. I used to love watching him. Okay, I'm gonna now I can put the lids on these and clean this mess up a little bit and start working in front of y'all because I won't have all these open. But see, I saved all that from keeping from losing it. Isn't that a neat trick? And this one was called a stale. No. Wait a minute. Yeah. I'll have to look on the board. I may have mixed them up by now. I can't remember. So I may be telling you wrong. I'll post the pictures tomorrow with the names when I look on the boards because I'm um, not sure if I'm telling you right by now. Normally I put the caps right beside them, but I don't know if I did today. But that looks like that matches. <laughs> and this is Gypsy. I have two of these. I've got two of these. I've got two of the, um, the one called, what is it called? Um, it's a, it's a real pretty orange peach color. Um, I just got it last night and realized I ordered two in the same order. It's not, sand, uh, what is it? Shoot, I can't even thank y'all. I hate it when I'm tired like this to where I feel like I'm um, such a dork. But my brain just goes slow when I'm tired, I guess. <laughs> now, let's move these out of the way and get the clear. Get me a clean little cup for my clear. And I want to dust off the area. Well, before I even get the cup over here, I want to dust off everything and file on my nails for a second before I even get the clear cap over here. Now, now that y'all can see what I normally do because I don't have the dips open right under me. See, now that loose powder's coming off, and you can actually start seeing the sparkle come to it. And like, see, there's a little spot that's stuck to my skin. I'll hit that with a file, or you can actually just hit it with your finger, and it'll pop right off. See? See? Found somewhere to prop my arm up. I have somewhere to prop my hand. Maybe that'll make it to where I can sit my hand down and prop it, but y'all can see. Let's see, wait a minute. Where does it need to go? There we go.
And like I say, I don't file a whole lot right on the glitter. I mostly just hit it to knock anything loose until after I've encapsulated it with clear. I'm ba that's why I'm just barely touching it to where if something's loose and it's going to come off, I let it go ahead and come off. But I don't do a lot of filing right on top of the glitter. Oh, I know. Really, though, it's not um, a whole long time. Let me get my clear out. Hang on, y'all. Okay. And I love how fine. I didn't even take and stir or shake or clear, do nothing to the clear like I did the others. I don't think it matters when it's clear because I think it doesn't have any glitter pigments or anything that has to be mixed up. But we'll throw a stir in it anyway. And one more brush. To make sure anything loose comes off before I because you don't want to get anything contaminated in your liquid or over into your clear Am I? Yeah, okay. Make sure I'm in front of the camera. These are going to be gorgeous when they get top coated. I have to catch myself and thinking, don't um, stop and stare so long while you got the base on it. As I'm admiring the color, I'm thinking the base is going to dry. Move along. <laughs> Alright, we done with her. Now we gotta do smooth her out a little bit. Activate it and throw some top coat on them. We're done with this hand. Always try to pull your your skin back. 
where you can get in there and don't get a little bite of your skin in with it. But believe it or not, as lumpy as that looked when the um, glitter was on it, that clear encapsulating it, we're going to be done in probably 10 minutes tops with the top coat dry and everything. I'm hoping. I hate saying stuff like that because then sure as I say that, normally it would just take about 5 to 10 minutes. But if I say something like that, some kind of bomb will go off. <laughs> it's like, don't count your chickens before they hatch. And you never know, I may end up putting totally different colors on my other hand tomorrow by the time I go to do my other hand. I always do different colors, but I always try to make the finger for finger match, but you ain't no telling what I'll do by tomorrow on this other hand. And if y'all want, I'll do it on the live too, I don't care. I gladly do lives for y'all, I just don't want to bug y'all doing them late at night and when I'm tired and quiet because I'm tired and concentrating to where I'm, I don't have my same personality of cutting up and having fun with y'all because I'm like Whoa. but I think everybody has those times at two o'clock in the morning when they're not <laughs> having a good time at two o'clock in the morning and they're doing something they have to concentrate on right <laughs> It is when you do it the way I do it, Haley, but um, with my nails as weak as they are and with my hands shaky the way they are, I have to do it the way I do it, you know. That's why I say if you've got thick enough nails and you don't need the strength, I'd gel all day long if I didn't have to do, do it. Because it's the same as painting your fingernails except you do a lot when you're done. To make it dry and it dries immediately instead of um, you waiting 30 minutes and your fingernails smudging I used to hate when I would do my fingernails does anybody else ever have this happen I'm gonna use this little jar it's got my acetone in it because I buy my acetone by the gallon and I had to put it in a glass jar so I think this had pickles in it or something but it was glass with a metal lid to where I knew the acetone wouldn't eat through it. Um, forgot what I was saying. I was getting ready to tell y'all something or ask you something. I don't know what it is now. I'm a squirrel, y'all. Definitely. It's like boom, and it's like, oh wait, I forgot. What was I saying? <laughs> oh, about gels. Yeah, you could do gels and be done, but I have to have the strength of this. Oh, I know what I was tell getting ready to tell y'all about. Have you ever painted your fingernails and like, like I have to use a lot of layers of polish if I did polish um, because trying to get the strength, you know, you got the, the nail strengthener layer, the hard, nail hardener layers, and the base coat, and the top coat, and three or four coats of color, and this and that. And I would sit and baby that stuff for like, I don't know, what, an hour afterwards and before I'd go to bed and wake up the next morning and I'd still have imprints of the 
sheet or something that had got over onto the pattern and made it indent into my, my nail polish. feel right there I gotta do one little spot right there okay with this one I cannot figure out how to do my hand around to where you can see where I'm filing on it but I'm basically just going around right there Okay, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. And y'all, I would definitely, y'all will be shocked how good they end up. But it is a process. But then you don't have to do them for a month. I don't have to do mine but once a month if I wasn't changing it just because I was wanting to play. So it's like you're doing your month's worth of manicuring all at one time, you know? Okay. Here we go. We're going to activate them. It's definitely worth it. So y'all got to help me tag. Y'all got to help me gang up on Haley. She's been my friend forever, and I cannot get her to get on the nail candy wagon. She's like, I'm just not into nails. I'm like, well, you need to be. Because <laughs> I like to be able to share, you know, and y'all tell me what y'all did and this and that, you know. And it's like, you can't check out of this process. You have to do it, too. We're going to hunt you down, Haley, and we're going to haunt you until you become a nail candy girl, too. You just cannot be a head candy addict on this page as long as you've been and not go down the nail candy path with me. <laughs> I think you'd love it if you'd ever give it a whirl. Now, let me see if I got this for y'all and see. Oh, I'm at the bottom of the screen. I need to be way up here, but hang on. I'm going to have to maneuver the camera because I can't move my hand up any further. I'm hitting that shelf with the computer setting on. Let's see. How can, okay, this way. That way I can do it. I hope I'm above the chat for y'all. Look at that, y'all. Gorgeous. If somebody as old and broke down as me can get this good of results... I used to love doing nails, though, in the shop. I just am too slow at doing them. Um, and it would get my whole day behind. And my hair customers would be upset with me if I couldn't get them worked in that week. Because I had to do a few days of doing nails. 
because I will not rush something um, to get back on schedule. I'm going to do it. Isn't that gorgeous, y'all? Let me see if I can get them where you can see them all. Let me move my little jar of acetone. Of course, this has got to dry. I'm trying to figure out how to get my... Hold on. Up we go. Where's my hand? Come on. I'll find it in a minute. I'm trying to find an angle that shows my whole hand. Okay, I'm trying to stay in... Here we go. Now I'm getting closer. Hold on. Let's see. I'll find it in a minute. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Look, y'all. Well. Oh, wait, there's my hand. I'm trying to follow my hand up to the camera. Here we go. It, everything's backwards. That's what gets me tripped up. Aren't those gorgeous? Where's my corner finger? There we go. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. I love it, y'all. What do you think? Tell me what y'all think. Do y'all like these colors? And I forgot, I was supposed to do that um, gel for you. Hang on, Kristen. We will do a, a coat of gel right on top of this. Or I know, I'll do a coat of gel on this hand. Let me get my little light. Hey, you know what? If you want to stay, I'll do a gel on this hand right fast. And just do like one coat or so to where it won't take a long, long time. And I'll show y'all. Hang on though, I've got to unplug to plug it to plug my light up. So hang on. Okay, where is my little thing that you like plug yourself on in and you plug the Getting the light plugged up. And I do mine different. I do mine over to the side. Let's see. Let me see if I've got these same colors. I'll find something right fast. And salt water was the name of that color I was trying to think of last night. Great tea. Um, only thing I don't like about the <laughs> colors being on the tops of the bottles is I'm so short I can't see the tops of some of them on the shelf. Okay, there's that, there's that. Oh, I can do illusion because I don't have it in dip, but I've got it in gel. And let me show y'all. Hang on. Have to sort of do this and pick your battles like I say until I get moved into the office I don't have room to have out a lot of stuff at one time so I'm gonna put the dips up and get out the gel liquid prep face activator top coat okay now and if it was to get sleepy and y'all have to go, I fully understand. Just come back and watch the replay tomorrow. But I'm going to go ahead and do this hand because my friend Kristen is so sweet. And I forgot that I promised. But I try not to break my promises. I just forgot. Now, this is the way I do the light for the gel so that I can dry my whole hand at the same time. 
is I prop it over to the side. Let me find where my workspace is again, though. And see, every time I move the light, it moves the shelf, which moves the computer. Let me get everything zeroed back in here. Which way do I need to go? Now, down, I think. Now, over. Uh, I'm getting there. Okay. Now, I think. I can work with that. I'll move the light sign this way. I'm going to find it here in a minute. I don't know how I got so out of whack. I think I spend more time on this light than I do doing my nails. Hang on, y'all. Now, here's my hand, okay? So I need to go over and up, I think. Luckily, with the dips, I can try to find it once I get there. Now. Okay. Well, that was the wrong way. Okay, now, now I found it. Yay! Okay. <laughs> anyway, I do my light. Norm I'll have to hold the light, probably. Um, I normally prop it up when I'm doing it myself, but I can't find how to get it in the frame. Okay, now I'm getting somewhere. I do it over to the side, propped up on its little cord here, so that it's slanted, and I'm still doing my hand with my fingers facing down, because gravity will work against you when you're doing the dips, y'all. I mean, the gels, y'all. It will run it back and flood your cuticles if you're not careful. So always try to keep your hand going down away from your cuticles when you're doing gel so that if it's leveling out, it's leveling out down your fingers instead of towards your cuticle, if that makes any sense. I hope I'm explaining that good. Normally you do not do um, gels. Let me find where I need to work at. Normally you do not do gels on top of tips, but see I put the clear dip on top of them. So we're good. Perfect. That's where I need to be. And since Haley, Haley are you, uh, alright, let's see. Here's what I'm going to do this time. I still do the thumbs and the pinkies the same. And if Haley wants me to, I'll do two silvers and do a pink in the middle instead so that she gets the silver wherever it was she wanted it. Okay, now, let's see if I'm, okay. Now, this, let me show y'all. Even though I just dumped that, it will run again because there's no drying agent in a gel. You've got to activate it. So it will keep leveling. That's why I'm saying I always try to work down my fingers away from my cuticles and let it go that way when it levels. That's why I prop my light up to where I can hold my hands down like this. And sometimes I do it where I lay it like a turtle on its back and do my hands like this over top of it. I just always know in myself, I try to make it to where I don't give it any reason to run out on my cuticles. But the good thing with gels is if you mess up, I could wipe every bit of that off. You don't have to cure it. You've got time to go check. Look for any places that's on your skin. Use an orange wood stick, but I'm country. 
I normally use an orange wood stick, but I've got such a conglomerate mess here. There's no telling what's on the orange wood stick at this point. So, and see, I've got my hand still slanted down. And I'm going to let it cure. Do a layer of gel. And I'll be even multitasking and holding the bottle while I put the lid on it while I'm drying my nails. <laughs> I can't figure out which way I need to go. I'll show y'all when this gets cured, but there's really not a good way that I can do this light in front of the camera because it would probably flash back and blind y'all. I'm a turtle. I need my cattle prod. I'm a monkey. I'm a little bit of everything. I'm every animal in the zoo. I'm telling you. <laughs> I am the whole circus all in one bag. And see, like, you'll see me do this, but then I do this because I don't want to sit with my thumb facing up while the other hands are facing down. Now, let me see if I can find to where you can see the angle. But see, it's just a real clear slick, and it's not sticky um, coat. And there is no vaping going on because head candy doesn't allow that. So if you hear something that's an optical illusion, you are not hearing what you think you hear. <clears throat> Haley, you've got about two minutes to tell me which one you want my birdie finger to be. One of the silvers or do you want it to be the pink, the pink, the purpley? Since you were a big baby and pitched a fit on the last hand, you tell me, girl. I'm just kidding. I will do it the way you want, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm giving you a hard time. But be sure and wipe the extra off because you can always add more, but don't get it too thick. You know what I'm saying? And this is my hard hand to do because I'm left-handed. And I hope I'm, and I'm not, of course. Hang on, let me get my little jar back out where I'll work on the jar where y'all can see what I'm doing. My son says he's going to make him find a... Once we get in the office where I won't be having to reset stuff up all the time, I'll learn where the area is that I've got to be to be on camera. And he said we could even take and mark it out at first. Um, but since everything changes because I have to stop in between each little step and move stuff i can't really do that at this point and see like it got on my finger so i'm going to wipe it off don't cure it if you see it somewhere it don't need to be don't cure it there wipe it off okay there's that one okay Haley, i want silver on the ring finger okay i'll even do you one up better than that this is the Illusion, the brand new one that I just got. If I can find how to get it in front of the camera. Um, hang on, let me, it's going to be in front of you, but i got to turn the light off for a minute because you won't be able to see these sparkles for all the lights. Hang on. Let me see if you can see this without the light blinding you. Hang on. Now, this is Illusion. Whenever I figure out where I'm at. And... Oh, there we go. I found it. Okay, this is Illusion. And this is Diamond. Diamond is the one that I... This one is Diamond. I already have it on this finger. It's my birdie finger on this one. This is Illusion. I have never even opened yet. It's brand new. Which one do you want Illusion to be? I mean, which one do you want my ring finger to be? Illusion, the new one, or Diamond, the other one. And I'll do whichever. This one that's sitting here is Illusion. The one that I do and I've done quite a few times is Diamond. It's my favorite so far, but this may end up being my new favorite once I see it. But Diamond is like my my spirit color <laughs> so you want it on the ring finger mm. 
Okay, let me turn my light back on. Okay, so I'm going to set illusion over here and do diamond on my corner finger then. And this one is, now that I've got the gel polish out, I can tell you then make sure that I make, that I'm saying it right. This one is ballet. This is that DA5, the one I was looking, GSC5 that I was looking for earlier. And I said that I just got it. Remember, this is the pink that I was looking for. But I said, oh, wait, that must be in gel, not a dip. Okay, so here we go. With the gel polishes, whenever I figure out where I need to be, where it, Dang it, that's what aggravates me. I was trying to find where I am. Hang on. turn my camera back, my light back on all right this one when you the gel polishes you actually see the pigments in it and sometimes this is diamond you'll it won't look smooth the first coat or so when I do it anyway because it's got a, it's got all these glitters in it and you'll see like some of it through it but you don't want to get it too thick I'm going to add a little bit more right here. But see how much easier if you can get away with gel polish? This is all you got to do and cure it under that light. And you don't file it unless you have a big clump or something that you made or got it on your cuticles. Let me swirl this and stir it up a little bit. There we go. Look how gorgeous this is, y'all. It's really distorting the color right now. I'll have to wait till it's on my fingers and show you. Okay. Illusion. We know it needs to be swirled around. I don't think you're supposed to shake these. I think you're just supposed to swirl them because you get air bubbles in it. So I'm just swirling them. Oh my goodness, look at the long glittery pigments that's in this stuff. This is going to be wild. This is going to be silver version of like the Grape Teeny, how it's got those long swirls to it. Oh wow, it's holographic and it's changing all kinds of things. So we're going to look one more time and make sure none of it, because like I say, it will level out. So before I cure it, I'm going to make sure it ain't on my skin nowhere. Like see right there where I've had that sitting there for a while? It's run back on my cuticle. Well, guess what? I'm just going to wipe her off. And then add a little bit more where I wipe too much off. That's why I like to keep my hand facing down. But when you're painting, you sort of got to do the angle you're at. Now, for this, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to move the light to me. And hold it with my other hand. And like I say, try to keep your hands. And like you'll notice me do this because you don't want to leave your thumbnail facing up while you've got the others facing down. Or it will flood if you got it too thick. Lots of thin coats are better than a thick coat any day. And move it again so that the others aren't facing up. But like if you do it like on like a turtle, you can do it like this. And and so you can do it over top of the light. If you do it like that, you can hold your hand right over top of it. Ok, 
Okay. Coat number two. This is my hard hand to do since I'm left handed. Okay, we did diamond, I think. Let's see. Yeah, illusions there, so diamonds here. I'm thinking that illusion may need three coats since it's a not as thick as the diamond on the it's more long skinny um, particles oh y'all know I messed up I don't think I don't think I've done this hand right I was supposed to have done this one on my pinky well, we'll just throw this on top of it since it's darker and hope it covers it up. If not, we're going to invent a color and say, look how creative we was. Didn't we do good? <laughs> At probably, what, 3 o'clock in the morning? There, see, and, you, and there's like a safety net when you're doing gels. And wipe it and clean it up, wipe it off, don't even cure it, wipe it off and start all over. We get the little thing there fixed, and we're just gonna now on I know I'm showing the light, but all I'm doing is holding my hand over top of it. And I'll probably cure it twice on this one because I let it wiggle around and wasn't really letting it cure the whole time. I need my little like a rubbery thing that's what I need so that it don't spin and I'll do two cures on this level since I've been piddling with it but you got strong nails Haley you could do gels 60 seconds Say, so, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Two coats in, two dries on that anyway. On um, like this one is okay, but on some of these, like where I put two because I did the wrong color and had to turn around and put a darker one on top of it. On this one, and see, this is not completely dry, but I've noticed it's on my finger, so wipe it off. Don't let it harden if you see it's not where it needs to be. And I'll do three coats with this so you can see a real good full coat. And I'll show you a good tip for doing it um, with the gels. And you, you buy the light instead of buying the kit um, that has four products with the other, like the other system has. Your products are cheaper, but you have to buy the light, but the light's only $14. And I'm going to take and just file that just a tiny bit right there where it flooded back that one time. 
and you'll see I'm going to spend like two minutes filing this whole hand and that's all I'm going to spend because you don't have to do it. I love gels. That's what I do on my toes. You ought to know if people buy gels to do their toes, of course it's the easiest one to do or they wouldn't be putting it on their toes. Okay. I can feel it stuck right there, so just pull that down. I hope I'm in the light. I'm not. Where do I need to be? Right here. Boom, boom. That's done. That's done. That's off of my fingers now. That's good. I can feel it on there. So we'll... Always go down, don't go up. That's when you'll break your cuticles and make them bleed. I need to figure out how to... Let me move out to where I can set my hand here. Because my little ring finger, my little bitty finger, is not strong enough. I have to prop her up. And then boom. That's all the filing for gels, y'all. Gels are done, but I'm going to do a third coat because I want it to be a full color effect. So we're going to do another coat. And then we'll load, throw the top coat on it and we'll be done. Boom. Go ahead and do my pinky before I forget and put the wrong color on it. Boom. That one's done. Boom. Done. Done. Done with all the colors. All we gotta do is cure it. Do a cop top coat, cure the top coat, 60 seconds. I may have to cure it twice since I did do three layers, but then no more than the top coat and two 60 second cycles will be done. There's that one done. Let's cure it. Throw that back up there. See if I can figure where I can get the light where you can see the whole light. And I'll start it over if I can get the whole light in there. I guess I'm just not going to be able to get the whole light on there. Because it's wider than the screen is, I think. Uh, that's about the best angle right there. So let's stop it and do it again. And I'll cure it on that one. See what I mean though? If you've got strong nails... Do gels, y'all. Dips are harder, but I have to have dips. And I'll show you in a minute. Gels do add some strength because it is an epoxy-like uh, substance. So it will add some strengthening to it. And you'll be able to tell that it's a lot thicker um, and stronger than it was when I showed you how they looked before we put this on there. But it won't be strong as these are, but it will be strong enough that if you have strong na stronger nails. I appreciate y'all hanging with me till 3 o'clock in the morning. Y'all are the best. Okay. Top coat. Here we go, y'all. Marching right along. And if you are going to do gel and encapsulate it with the top coat to go with the dip system, you do have to have an edge. See how that'll get runny again? See that get? Watch, I'll even let it see it's dropping off because there's no like chemical that's going to dry it. It has to have the light to dry it. So it'll keep getting runnier and runnier the longer you hold it. Instead of like regular polish that will get thicker the longer it's out of the 
uh, bottle and you're holding the, the wand, this will do exactly opposite and get runnier because it's running down the stick. So if you can do gels, in my opinion, please do gels. You'll be so much happier with the small amount of time that it takes to do gels. But I need the strength. But if you don't... Oh, thank you, Kristen. It's um, 15 or 3 here. Like I say, these need these little tricks here of like holding your hands with the stuff with the product facing down to where gravity is helping you instead of hurting you. These kind of things you'll thank me later for. Let's do one more. And if it feels sticky after one more, you just do it till it doesn't feel sticky and gooey. If it's still, I didn't feel it to feel, it actually doesn't feel that sticky, but I'm just going to cure it one more time anyway. And then I'll probably just do a top coat on top of it, of the dip top coat, to hold it to the dip and be done. You can take and do the nail strips. You can do like a base with tips or without tips if you've got long enough nails. You can do dips for the strength, you can do the strips, you can do nail art, you can do the gels. As long as you leave a hairline area that the product is not going to be in between the layers of the dip to where it can like get back to itself, just a hairline fraction of it to seal, it won't come off. But it will flake off in like two, a week or two weeks or so. I'm um, in lift off if you don't have an if you don't have a tiny little space. All right, I'm going to throw the dip on it, the dip top coat, and I'll be ready for tomorrow. I won't even have to worry about it tomorrow. Oh, and you get, of course you've got to activate it, of course, because that dries it. So we're going to. Here we go. Boom. But look how gorgeous. So, if you were going to pick, what would you do? Would you do dips or would you do gels? Now that you see the difference in the systems. Do you need the strength of dip? Or would you take the convenience of the gel over it? And I forgot to show y'all, but as soon as this dries a second to where I can touch it. Okay, look. See, I still have strength from the gel. It's not as hard as this because this is not moving at all. I can feel the pressure in my joint from pushing. I do feel a flex right through here. Um... But that's at the back of my nail. Here we go. Make sure I got the dip. Because I have been known to cross them up. Boom. 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 And boom. That's making me think of that... Y'all ever see that movie? It's called Here Comes the Boom. <laughs> that's what's making me think of because I keep saying boom. And that's like not like, like a phrase I ever say. Don't ask me why I'm saying it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We done, y'all. Which hand do y'all like the best? This one is my first hand that has um, the two lighter colors. 
and it doesn't have the illusion and then this one has the other colors with illusion and see it's like a holographic it's going to pick up see that's there's so many different glitter colors let me show y'all and i don't even have them all yet but i will trust me I don't know how Kayla looks at these and thinks, oh, I need to do this to do it. It's like she adds so many different spins on the things. I'm trying to take these off of this rain to where I can show them to you without having to flip them. Okay. Disregard my tape because it will be off tomorrow once I relabel these. But this is Illusion. Let me find it in the camera. This is Illusion. This is Diamond. Right here. And this is Illusion. Then she's got like the Frosted. Um, I think this one's uh, Bliss. Then there's this one. Then there's this one. And then there's this one. But all of them different colors that's like silver glitteries. There's like six of them. And it's like, only Kayla could think, oh no, I need six. And it's like, she is so awesome. Is she not, y'all? I, I want to be her when I grow up, but I don't think I'm ever going to grow up. <laughs> yeah, you will, Haley. For the gels, you do base. Then you do color. How many ever layers of color you want to do? And then you do top coat. It's that easy. You always cure in the middle. You do base, cure, color, cure, color, cure, top, cure. It's that easy, Kaylee. That's it. Alrighty, y'all. I'm going to go. I'll send out my reminder tomorrow for my live on my head candy page. On the actual page, I'll be coming on as head candy, not shared the head candy. And hopefully, y'all, please pray that I don't have the problem I had last weekend. And I actually get to go live on the page. <laughs> So, let me find my cell phone here to where I can actually speak to y'all. And where I've been doing my hands, the camera sideways. Where am I? Oh, now it's upside down. Hang on. I spun it the wrong way. I zigged when I was supposed to zag. So, and here we are, y'all. <laughs> y'all have a great night. Thanks for coming and hanging with me. Much love. Bye. And look at these beautiful hands now that I can find them. This is the gel hand, y'all. Where's my thumb? This is the dip hand, y'all. Whee! Whee! All right, y'all. Good night. Let me out, or good morning, whatever. <laughs> good night, y'all. Love y'all. Pray for y'all every day. Bye.